Hey everybody, my name's Steve from Blackstar Amps UK and we're here with Plugin Boutique to check out the St. James plugin. I've got the real things right here, so let's check out some tones and we'll do some comparisons. Here we go. So this is the first amp we're gonna look at. This is the St. James 6L6 and here's our clean channel. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alex G from Blackstar, head of products, part of the team that created the Blackstar plugin. So let's jump in, see how it sounds. So what we have here is the uh, two mics that are recorded next door, plus the DI track here, and we've loaded the St. James plugin up. When I click this button, when I'm soloing the guitar amp group, that's the mic top sound next door. When I'm soloing the DI pre channel that we've got here, that's the DI signal that we've got the St. James plugin on. Okay, so we can dial back the top end and really uh, dial in the mid range. I'm also going to ena enable the sag, which gives a bit more compression on the power amp side. Really helps soften up clean tones. What I'm going to do is turn up the room now. That's going to fill out that kind of that dry, clean guitar tone. And let's see what that sounds like. Also, maybe use some of the EQ to dial back some of that upper mid range. This turn in the plugin, I think we can take a bit further. We can add a compressor on the pre, and that's really going to lift up the pre gain. Uh, so maybe a little bit more distortion in there and kind of bring up the quieter parts too. Let's add the stereo reverb on the end. Let's go really long on the size and bring the mix down. That sounds great. Maybe a touch of harmonic tremolo, give some modulation to that sound. That sounds great. I mean, we moved away from the original guitar tone a little bit, but the flexibility of the plugin is just great in this circumstance. Let's listen just quickly to the original guitar track. Okay, and now the plugin.
Okay, so this was the 6L6 channel 2 with the uh, voice switch off. Sounds great. That was the SM57 and the Royal 121. Let's dial the plugin in with the same settings and see how close they sound. So I've got the St. James plugin here. Let's jump into the amp page. We've got the amp set up the same channel, bass, middle, treble set pretty much halfway. On the cab rig side, this is the kind of Black Star IR based technology that we've built into the St. James plugin. We've modeled all the Black Star cabs in here. So we've got nine cabs for you to choose from. Just for this test, I'm going exactly the same cabs that we've got next door with the same microphones. So we've got one set up with the 57. We've got another one set up with the Royal 121. Uh, so it pans a little bit left and right. So we get a little bit of that spread in the image. I've also dialed the room up a little bit. So it's a fairly medium sized room that we're in. And I've got a space pair. Just dialing in a little bit of that um, room, room sound. <laughs> Okay, sounds pretty close. Let's just hear those as a quick AB between the two. They're pretty close to each other. There's also some differences in the way that we captured the tones for this than the way that we've got it set up today. Different microphones, different preamps, that kind of thing. But generally, like the same flavor. What I'd like to do now is the benefits of having a plugin, we can go in and change the sound after. Let me uh, show you around the other features that we've got in the plugin and then maybe add some effects on top. So we've got some pre-effects, we can add compressor, drive, chorus, phaser on top. I'm not really worried about that because I think the gain structure and general modulations, like we don't really want that on this sound. Let's go post effects. We could throw on a stereo delay and see how that sounds. <laughs> Everything's better with delay. Okay, what else do we want to do? Let's just, because we can, let's put a, a stereo phaser on there. It's one of my favorite parts of the plugin. Uh, I like to do width all the way up, speed almost all the way down, uh, and we can play about with the depth. We've also got a resonance here that we can change from low to high. Let's stick that on, see what it sounds like. <laughs> I put a drive in there too. I think it just lifted it up a bit. Great thing about plugin, we can go back in afterwards and, and change the tone. Okay, well, we're hearing channel two there, the overdrive channel. Channel two actually has a secondary voicing. Let's check that out now.
Okay, let's keep the cabs the same. We're not going to mess around with that today. Let's just go on to the uh, the channels to see what that sounds like. So this one had the uh, voice switch on on channel two. And let's go back to the guitar amps in a room. You know what? I wish I could go back in the room now with recording it and listening to it back. I could tweak the mic positions a little bit. Um, again, we can do that in a plugin. We can't do that in, in real life. So again, th this is just brilliant. We're getting all the same tone as the St. James, but with the flexibility of like being able to go back afterwards and, and tweak. So this sounds a little bit comb filtered, maybe the phase difference between the two mics. When we're going over to the, the cab rig, everything's perfectly phase aligned so we don't have any of those in the studio issues to be honest on this one i prefer the tightness of the plugin it gives that like chunk in the low end Nice, I think that sounds great. I would happily use that in a mix. Maybe tighten up the low end a little bit with some post EQ, we can do that now. So let's roll in this. I've already rolled off some of the high and tweaked around with a, a little bit of the mid range. Uh, let's roll off some of that low end so it fits in the mix better. <laughs> This EQ is really interactive. This is based off a vintage British EQ that works really well for guitars. So the bands are a little bit weird, a bit unusual, but it's just everything that you want when you boost that like low, mid and low end. As you can tell, that, that low cut really changes that, that tone. Once you've got the rest of the band around that, the bass guitar in, then we're going to want to increase that low cut. I think that's close enough. To be honest, I prefer the plugin on this setup. I wish, like I said, I wish I could go next door and tweak the mic positions a little bit. Okay, so the 6L6 St. James we just heard is more in a high gain style of amplifier. So let's take a look at the St. James EL34. This is more of a vintage tone, less gain, great pedal platform. So let's take a look at the front panel. And I'll explain to you what's going on. We have our clean channel here. We have our overdrive channel here with a boost we have a global EQ bass middle treble reverb and the master volume if you were to take a snapshot of this amplifier it would be exactly the same in the plug-in so let's check out some tones we're gonna go for clean first then some overdrive tones <laughs> Okay, let's move over to the EL34 model. Here it's just a click of a button. In the room, we had to change amps, change cables, re-mic up a cab. We'll listen to the in the room sound first and then we'll A-B it with the plug-in sound. See how close we can get. Okay, I could kind of match those two tones by just dialing back the mid and the treble a little bit. Straight away, I would want to actually add a pre-compressor on there. This is quite a dynamic sound. So let's uh, lift that up with the pre-compressor. I'm going to blend in the blend all the way up. So this is both dry and the wet signal of the compressor being blended 50-50. Let 
Let me whack up that room. Let me take that from a medium space into a large space as we want that kind of stereo ambiance. Just adding in that little room sound makes it sound like it was recorded in a, in a huge recording studio. That's great. So that's actually using the room sound rather than using the amp reverb. They've got a slightly different characteristics to them. So let's dial in some amp reverb to dial back the room sound. And why not? Let's go full reverb on this. Just that last like hit, let's compare the difference between the real amp uh, with no effects on, of course, and no pre-compressor to where we got to with the plugin. Obviously a lot of reverb. I think it sounds great though. Obviously we can get the same sound as we had next door or we can elevate it. We just heard the clean channel of the EL34 version. Let's jump to channel two where we have a bit more bite in the preamp. Let's move on to the channel two of the EL34 model. So I'll engage channel two here and see what that sounds like. I'm just gonna keep all the settings the same, just uh, bypass the reverb and compressor that we just added. Here's in the room sound. And the plugin. So what I'm hearing is the, the comb filtering, the difference in phase between the two mics that we had in the room. Again, with the cab rig, we've phase matched everything. So we don't get that, um, that kind of comb filtering issue. We can blend in the, the benefits of both the SM57 and the 121 mic with no kind of difficulty. We just get the different tonal characteristics. So again, I think I prefer to have a little bit more of that upper mid range and top end in that tone anyway, which we're getting from the plugin. I think just the differences in mics that we modeled versus the ones that we've got here and the setup that we had is just bringing the top end down a little bit. So again, with the plugin, we've got the benefit that we can go in afterwards and, and tweak away. <laughs> Plugin. I'm going to turn the gain up a little bit. I would actually want much more driven sound on this. See how uh, far we can push it. So let's change the tone quite a lot. Let's add a slight touch of pre-compression. Then we can actually dial back the gain. That sounds great. So we're gonna kick in the preamp boost on channel two. Let's check that out.
let's check out the plugin. All I've done there is slightly tweak the EQ and bring that into a smaller room. I think it sounds great. Thank you. 